if Messi sees this video i'm appealing to you reach out to the woman mama is not going to ask you to say okay oh bring all of your life to come and live in ghana with her her story is too real to be to be to require her going through a dna test and all that to prove anything her story is real if i were her i won't go i wouldn't want to go for a dna test if you know mercy johnson you know how to talk to her you know anybody that is close to her that can talk to her just tell her to you know reach out to this woman except if there's something she know that we don't know she should come out and be honest about it it would be wrong for this woman to grieve and go you know grieve back to her grave if you know the truth if you know she's your mother and you're seeing her go through all that but because you have a reputation to protect you don't want to accept it good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you according to your time welcome back again and thank you for clicking but of course if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian but you can call me lily so we are back again with an update this was not meant to be but because of the last video a lot of people said oh mercy johnson have said she's a ghanaian so why is she denying now what is wrong with being a ghanaian why is she rejecting mama or is it because mama is not a rich woman let us say let us conclude though mama may be rich and not look it or is it because mama is not looking rich or is it because is it because there are a lot of things you know a lot of questions people have been asking why is she not saying something so and then the one that brought about this particular video is the fact that a lot of people commented on that video that mercy in the past have said that she's Ghanaian. so why is she denying it now i decided to have some sleepless nights by doing my investigation and of course where did i go where did i go who is my biggest and most reliable source google give it up to google your best friend your mommy know it all yes it is one of those actresses that have been very open about her life her family her past her struggle because she talked about coming from extreme poverty to where she is and in the past she have always been very open about it i wanted to do my research to see if there's any difference from what she have i mean if the story are not similar so i will now say okay maybe mama is right mercy have been very open about her biological kids she have been very open about her marriage her husband her parents the only set of people in her life that she have successfully kept private but only talk about but never showed us is her siblings mercy i don't know for you but for me i've not really seen anyone that mercy johnson tag to say oh my sister oh you know like other celebrities do we know like david Doe now for instance we know david Doe's sisters we know his cousins but in mercy johnson's case we know her dad we know her mom we know her children we know her husband we don't really it's okay we know any of her sisters that she have come out publicly to say, okay see my sister or oh, she stays here she sells this or oh, like other people do support buy from my sister or oh, you know we have not seen that she, it's not like she hold us all of that she have been very open enough and we appreciate her for that according to the research i've been doing trying to match it to the interviews she have granted in the past according to some people she said she's Ghanaian. i never seen anywhere mercy johnson ever said that but maybe you can't know everything okay in the past mercy said that she was born in lagos to a family of seven she's a fourth child in her family she was born in lagos she was born to a naval officer of the nigerian navy and her mom is a petty trader she was always moving around the country and that her father is from okene in kogi state and that her tribe is igbira so i have talked about how she grew up you know struggling to balance her education because her dad was always on transfer so they moved from lagos to calabar from calabar to potako from potako to lagos again they have been to almost every part of nigeria but originally her father is an ibira man from okene in kogi state of nigeria she has not at any time changed that story and then she said she struggled growing up financially because her daddy didn't have a lot you know if you are a if you are if you are a civil servant you know 
if you work with the Nigerian government or any government in Africa, you will understand her story. So she has always been very open about her past, about her family, and to an extent, she has been very open that even some of her colleagues, whom we can't even, we don't even know anything about, have come out, you know, to try to belittle her, try to make her small, just because they think they know everything about Mercy. So, but it didn't stop her from being very open about her life. She have constantly inspired everybody. She's a bunch of talents, as you know. She struggled to go to uni. Eventually, she dropped out due to lack of funds, due to lack of money. She decided to pursue a career in acting, and she have made Africa proud she have made nigerians proud she have made everybody all her fans all over the world proud she have given hope to a lot of young girls who just honor really feel like okay i have a good sexual i have a good calf i'm curvy i'm beautiful i'm this i'm eloquent i can actually go out there and do runs she have changed all of that for everybody by saying okay i am not um i am beautiful I couldn't go to school but i can speak a bit of english but i won't go to the street to hug my body i want to pursue a career in nollywood but in fact she successfully did that she didn't have a lot but she broke through it eventually so mercy have been very very open about her life so all the research that i have done the past few days i mean two days now i've been researching trying to match the research to all the interviews she have granted, all that we know about her, there is nothing different from it. They are the same. They have not been a different version where she's okay, oh, mm, I'm from here, I'm not from here, or, you know, you know some Nollywood actresses, when they are starting their career, they, oh, okay, I'm from a poor home, you know, people will pity them, oh, okay, wow, sorry, oh, let's buy her movie, let's support her, let's send her gifts. And then when they are made, now when they, when they see that money, they are made, they start to feel ashamed. They want to change the story. Oh, okay. Oh, my dad lives in uh, America. My mom is this. My mom is a medical doctor. I never at any time, they would deny ever, ever telling us the truth about themselves or a lie about themselves. They were all clean. But Mercy have never done that. She have maintained her stand that she is this and we just it's just like us following that journey and seeing she gives a lot of people hope so now i've come to the conclusion that with all the research i have done with everything that we have been reading about her we have heard about her she has said about herself i in her honesty will conclude that mercy johnson is not the missing child of this Ghanaian woman mama may have to look elsewhere but then again, it's, it does not stop Mercy from still being a human. You know, this is a woman grieving for the loss of her children whom she has lost contact with. Due to carelessness, please permit me to say so. Yes, due to carelessness. Because if mama was careful, was at a lot, I know sometimes you are careless because what you never plan to do to other people, you wouldn't know they would do to you. You have a child with someone and you never plan to run away with that child. You wouldn't know that someone, your partner is busy planning on how to run away with the children. So I wouldn't completely blame her that much, but I felt like immediately the man had said, you guys should move from your country to his own. Red flag and what you should do if you don't want to go, which you should go. Because when you sign up to, my people will be your people. Your God will be my God. My this will be your... You should know that when he is done living in another country, he want to go back. African men always want to exercise their power. So if he had said you should go and you want to be a stubborn wife, you should know that you should be at a lot. Let me tell you this, the truth. You see African men. You see African men. They will tell you, oh, okay you oh i'll marry you and some of you who lives abroad this is for you oh i don't want to i don't want to go to africa i don't want to go to africa i want to stay in the uk i want to stay in the us i want to leave out i don't want to go to africa and he will tell you oh no problem you don't want to go to africa it's fine we can live here raise our kids here auntie one day bros will go to africa a Ghanaian man will come back to ghana a nigerian man will go back to nigeria so if you are marrying any any african man okay any african man 
have it in mind that one day he will want to go back home you know, go back to his country he want to go back home and age gracefully with his um, umuna, they, to their family they want to go back home to their original home original home that forest they want to go there they will build a beautiful mansion okay over there and retire there grow old there with their kinsmen grow and die peacefully and go back to their creator so in case you don't know that know it now okay african man will always go back so if you are marrying to one right now and he tells you that you have to know he may not want to go back now because the kids are young he don't want to stress you but later he's going to tell you that oh get ready baby we are going home and you should be ready to go okay but if you know you don't want to go please go and know where your husband is from don't just be okay living in the city because he has come to know your own family he has married you you guys are good he's a good guy he want to go home okay and the one that want to go home soon he may not want to do so without his kids he may want to do you know go with the kids and he knows that if he tell you you don't allow him and he wants to elope with the kids so please be an obedient wife if you're marrying internationally okay be an obedient wife i don't want to hear any of my brothers complain about you okay be an obedient wife like, it's not like they are trying to fool you that they will not go they, they may mean to say that now but later they will just feel like okay enough of this oibo life i want to go home so just know this and no peace so the only thing left now that mama has given to us is the lessons in her story nothing stops mercy johnson if mercy sees this video i'm appealing to you reach out to the woman okay mercy johnson reach out to this Ghanaian woman if you don't want to do that in public you want to do it silently reach out to her and tell her to you be there for her you give her your shoulder to lean on give her your shoulder you can do it mama is not going to ask you to say okay oh bring all of your life to come and live in ghana with her yeah she may want to tell you okay you know maybe from time to time you give her a phone call even you can help her locate her biological kids that she is she has lost contact with it's unfortunate that she may have to live like this for the rest of her life but you can make her join it on her a happy one a happy one for her not completely you're not you're not going to be able to erase that struggle in her heart that pain that regret but you can try you can try by doing your best for her like just be there for her it costs you if you don't want to even use your money to do it, you can call on friends they are ready to come out to just even your Ghanaian celebrity the colleagues your colleagues say they will run to that woman's place and get everything done on your behalf and god in heaven will not fail to bless you even if you don't do for her god will still bless you i know but if you do it for her it's not a bad thing so this woman is looking for her children and it may be difficult to locate them because the story is not adding mercy johnson's father is Daniel Johnson but mama said Mercy Johnson's father's name is Thomas Johnson you can see Mercy has siblings like her story is too real to be to be to require her going through a DNA test and all that to prove anything her story is real if I were her I won't go I wouldn't want to go for a DNA test man I wouldn't want to go for a DNA test so you guys this is how I arrest my case if you know Mercy Johnson you know how to talk to her you know anybody that is close to her that can talk to her just tell her to you know reach out to this woman except if there's something she know that we don't know she should come out and be honest about it it would be wrong for this woman to grieve and go you know grieve back to her grave if you know the truth if you know she's your mother and you're seeing her go through all that but because you have a reputation to protect you don't want to accept it and then you allow her to grieve till she dies it is wrong okay so if you know in your heart mercy that this woman is your biological mother do the needful we the public don't have to know but for me i just think maybe you are not but if you are and because only you and her knows the truth do the needful and if you are not please you can still reach out to her all right so guys this one is not a fight between Ghanaians and Nigerians there's nothing to fight here we will ever we are forever gonna remain one we will continue to fight eh you know how your siblings you fight with your siblings now eh you fight but you don't get choice you go there 
Hmm? You go there because the same cane that we both will use to flog a Nigerian. When you see Ghanaian, he wouldn't ask you, are you away from? He go flog you because you be black. Okay? He go flog you because you're from West Africa. Alright, so I'm ending my video here for today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!